Hey guys, Chantelle Hayward here, your trusty Zumba Shop director, coming to you from the outside of Zumba Shop Australia with my very first cutting video. You guys have sent me loads of emails and loads of Facebook messages asking me to actually do a cutting video for you rather than the snapshot videos that we do on Instagram. You love those, but you want me to actually do a cutting video step by step so that you can see how to do it and how to create something super exciting with your Zumba wear. So a really exciting cut is to take a racer back and then change it into a halter. A racer is one of the most cost effective tops that you can get from us at Zumba Shop Australia. And to create it into a halter just gives something a completely different look. So the racer back is designed to be quite a slim fit. So the first thing that you wanna do is to buy the racer back at least two sizes or even three sizes larger. That's then going to give you that kind of loose swaggy look rather than having it tight like a racer back is designed to do. First things first, sharp scissors. These have to be a dressmaking haberdashery scissors, so just make sure that you're not using your normal kitchen scissors. You really need a pair of really good sharp scissors because that's going to make a really, really, really big difference to your cut. So the top that I've got for you today is the Zumba Love top. So this is from the new Follow the Music collection, super cute top. A lot of the Razorbacks have these contrasting backs on, on them and they're really, really, really exciting. So first things first, let me show you what you're trying to achieve. So when you've got a racer back, what you want to do is to keep this section here. Can you see this part that runs around? That's going to become your strap for the halter. So this section here, we want to keep that. But we're going to lose this section and we're going to lose the back. So let me just trace this out with my finger for you. So we're going to cut across here and then using this section. So we're going to keep this. So what we really want to do is to hold this section and cut this. So I'm going to show you where we're going to cut. So across here, we're going to cut this section here, cut this section here, and then on the back, we're then going to cut all the way across this section here. That's going to take this section away, and then that's what's going to create our halter. So first things first, let's get this cut. All right. So I'm gonna do it upside down for you so that you can see exactly what's what. So first thing I'm gonna do, we wanna keep this section here. So I'm going to make a little snip cut in alongside here. That's what gives me a spot to, for my scissors to go through. So I'm gonna follow this down just a little bit down across here. Then I'm gonna take this cut out to the side. Can you see that? So now I'm coming across here. So I've taken that part off. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna do a little, a little snip. That creates a spot for my scissors to go. And then down here. So now you can make a little um, pencil mark here if you want to with some um, chalk, with some Taylor's chalk. I've done this a million times so I know where I'm going. But if you want to just make sure that it's even on both sides, that's fine. So then slice, slice, slice around. Okay, so that's the front part done. Now we need to turn this over here, all right? Now, so you've got this section here, you've taken this off already. So now we need to come across here from that cut and go all the way across the back. Can you see that? So we're cutting all the way across and that part is now coming away, all right? So now we've got this section here so now this is connected. So now you've got this section across here, but you've got this coming across. So then we've got a nice truck out the side that's on the shop. So we'll just ignore the truck. Thank you, Mr. Truck. Perfect timing. Trials and tribulations of a live video, right? Okay. I can't cop the top again, so we're gonna keep filming. All right, so now we've got that there. So now what you can do is you can either leave this here if you want to have it hanging low. So if you want the top to sit low, you can keep it like that is. Or if you want to have the top coming through so it's much tighter, just make a snip across the bottom over here and then you can tie those together. See, tie them like that. All right, so then that creates the halter there. Can you see that? So now, instead of having the halter, the racer back, I beg your pardon, you now have the halter. All right, so a little style tip for you. What you can then do is 
put these two together here put your seams together all right and this is a little bit of style advice here it looks really cool so have this together here so that your the back over here is in half then you can do some slashes across the back on this fabric because it's actually printed and the other side's white it comes up really cool so with your scissors make some cuts across the back a really good way if you have it approximately the width of your finger that looks really good so again you can use Taylor's chalk to mark this out again I've done this a thousand times so I'm used to cutting okay then across here now that is fine style tip on how to get your slashes to look good you need to stretch them so put your fingers inside the cuts and pull okay and then in the other one and pull what that does is rolls the fabric you have to do this part otherwise you end up just with really unsightly cuts and it doesn't look good so if you do it that way lo and behold you have the trendy cuts all right you see that that actually rolls all of that around now so then it looks super 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 cute so now instead of having a racer back you now have a halter and because we've done it bigger what you'll end up doing is this is going to be nice and loose across here and then you're going to have this loose across the back as well looks really cool when you've got a cut bra see like so, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video because loads of you have said, Chantel, how do you cut your bras? So I'll show you that in the next video. So there you are. How to cut a really cost-effective racer back into a super, super, super cool halter neck. There you are, my darlings. Style cutting video. Hope you've enjoyed that. See you soon. And I'll be bringing my scissors for the next cutting video. Bye for now.